I'm Jeff Barr, and today I'm speaking with Pasquale Di Maio, General Manager of Amazon Connect. Welcome. Thank you. Give me a sense of what Amazon Connect is all about. So Amazon Connect is a cloud-based contact center that makes it easy for businesses to deliver great customer service at any scale. Where did the idea for this come from? It started about 10 years ago. Amazon was looking to build a great contact center for themselves, uh, and we started to invest in it. Every year since then, we looked at what was in the market to see if it could meet our needs, and we never found anything that was better than the thing we built ourselves. Eventually, we decided it might be something other people could use, too. And so in 2017, we brought it to the market as its own product. Okay, now when we built this for ourselves, what kind of scale do we have to think about addressing? So Amazon has um, more than 50 internal contact centers, uh, including one for retail, which is over 70,000 agents at peak. Wow, and does that vary quite a bit from peak to trough? Absolutely, we see um, big changes over the course of the year between it um, for holidays and things like that, or Amazon Prime Day, which is a time in the summer where we offer a lot of good deals. People tend to call in a lot more at that point, and those mean that the elasticity of it allows us to scale up and down with those agents. So we always have what we need and don't have to worry about running out of space or over overpaying. Okay, now what makes Amazon Connect different from previous products or other products in this market space? Well, I'd say the first thing about this interesting is that it's really easy to use. Uh, Amazon Connect allows business decision makers to configure their contact center. In fact, they can set one up in five minutes and be taking their first phone call. And that five minute um, span will give them a contact center which they can grow to the scale of Amazon uh, using without having to come ask for permissions or getting special setups or configurations that's difficult to do. Instead, they're really in control themselves because it's a self-service offering. All right, so what kind of customers are using this? Uh, we see customers of all sizes. So we have folks like Intuit and Capital One and Mutual of Omaha on the big end, but then we have smaller customers like Axial Healthcare, um, other folks who are interested in, in taking advantage of it at the lower end uh, who want to be able to move really quickly and make changes. Um, and eventually, maybe their businesses grow to be as big as Intuit or Cap Ones. Okay, now do people do this always for a long term? call center solution or are there kind of spur of the moment or transient kind of solutions that they might use it for as well? Well, well because they don't have to pay for capacity up front um, or make any upfront payments required, they're able to use it however they want. And of course, that does mean for some folks when they have an emergency or something interesting that pops up, they're able to use it. And we've had a number of customers who have had different kinds of challenges where that's happened. Um, one a great example of that would be um, during the hurricanes, often people want to set up emergency numbers and things like that. Uh, when that happens, they can set them right up, use them for a, a few weeks or even a day, and then they can turn them back off again, and they don't have to worry about the fact that they've had to set up all of this um, heavy lifting for having telephony or hardware and all the other things that uh, make the cloud so great, having being able to avoid those costs. Okay, now when they set it up and they, and they get their initial uh, configuration, are they really stuck with that, or can they update the call flow and make it better over time? Absolutely not. They are not stuck with anything. They can make changes real time. And in fact, it's as quick as pressing a button to change something like the experience a caller has when they dial in. So if you have a snow day, you're able to go in and, and change the recording or even use text to speech to make it say, hey, today we're having snow, so we may be a little longer to answer your call. Or um, maybe you want to say something like, oh, well, we know about this problem you've had. And it's even easy to do something that's very personal for a customer. So you can say, hey, Jeff, I know, you, um, I know you're flying back, and because of the snow, your flight was delayed. Is that why you're calling? It sounds like this has been pretty popular with a lot of different customer segments. What, why do you think the what did we do right to make that happen? I think customers love the speed of innovation they can get with it. Uh, the ability to change things quickly, the ability to use the system to g deliver exactly the customer service you want really easily. Uh, customers like Intuit have performed hundreds of, hundreds of experiments with um, Amazon Connect this year, and that's something they couldn't do with any other system they had before. When you say experiment, what would they do and what would they test and how would they learn the results? Um, they try all sorts of different things, but a really popular one would be to say, I want to try two different call experiences. So I'm going to have 10% of my callers go to one experience, and I'll keep the other 90% doing the same one they have today. Or maybe I even want to do two or three of these experiments at once, so I'll say 10%, 10%, 10%, and 70% go somewhere else. And with those types of setups, we make that super easy. All I have to do is drag a block in our graphical user interface, and you can then do that with these A, B, A, B, C, D tests. And um, then you can see using the logs afterwards exactly what happened, how, how many customers succeeded in the different versions you had, and then also see how many of them need to go to an agent and compare that Ooh. and decide which one you like best and which one's customers like best. Okay. Now, I, I do believe there's a little, um, or there is an aspect of artificial intelligence as well in the offering. 
Absolutely. Uh, Amazon's made a huge investment in artificial intelligence and natural language understanding with the Alexa products. And we brought that to contact centers for um, other people too now. With the Lex product that we offer from AWS, it's simple to add that in and have a natural experience where it speaks in a natural voice and then you speak back to it. So instead of having to say, press one for sales, press two for support, you can simply say, how can I help you today? And the customer can answer in a very natural voice mm. what they want and then you can direct them to what they need. One customer I think is particularly interesting is Red Awning and they built their own artificially intelligent persona who talks and helps people with their real estate challenges and so they started from scratch and were able to completely build out a system that makes a very natural experience and this this um, artificial intelligence uh, persona is called Scarlet which I thought was really nice I think it matches the Red Awning mm. motif but it's really cool to see a company that maybe a few years ago couldn't afford or couldn't find the resources to go do something like this. Now they're empowered to do this for the first time. And instead of it taking months or years to do, they can do it in weeks. Awesome. So I know that within a call center, you often need to connect up to various corporate data sources and services. And how is that done within Amazon Connect? Yeah, Amazon Connect makes that really easy. We use a service called Lambda that allows you to talk to virtually any backend system. And that makes it very simple to pull data back in. So I might look at your phone number, pull in your name so I know you're Jeff. I might then look up your order, see if anything has been delayed, anything's on time. And then I can use that to make decisions about what I want to offer you for options. So if I see you had a delayed order, I can say, hey, I'm really sorry your order was delayed. Maybe I sh you'd like 5% off your next order to make up for it. Okay, and that can all just be automated and specified within the, the visual builder. Absolutely. Um, you would write a little bit of teeny little snippet of code to make the call into whatever backend system you have, but then Amazon Connect can just drag and drop that right into the experience. Got it. So what do you think are the top couple things that your customers love about Amazon Connect? Well, one thing that they really like is the ability to get access to their data. We really take the approach that as an Amazon Connect user, your data is your data. And so you can get access to your most detailed contact records and stream them directly out into the database of your choice. And from there, you're able to use them maybe to join them with other data sets or look at them in something like QuickSight or Tableau. Uh, it's really interesting for customers to be able to have that, that deep level of access to their data and something very new. Okay, so the, the Amazon Connect developer can actually have access to other AWS services and use those as part of the solution that they build. Absolutely. Uh, they love the AI services that Amazon offers, like Lex and, and Transcribe and Comprehend. They also like a lot of the other tools, like Lambda, which allows super easy integrations. You can access virtually any backend service with just a few lines of code. And then another thing that they really like using us with is uh, services like QuickSight, where they can visualize their data once they export it. Awesome. All right. Well, really appreciate you taking the time to come by and speak with us today. Thank you. I'm Jeff Barr, and we've been speaking with Pasquale DiMaio from Amazon Connect. Thanks for watching. You can click the link on the screen to learn more about Amazon Connect.